Hey, good morning. Good morning. Um, welcome back. Um, yeah, we, we probably keep talking about uh, the uh, leverage concept. Okay, lever. Re yesterday we kind of ran out of time, right? Um, sorry about this ghetto king hairstyle. But uh, I, I just think it's funny. It's funny kind of hair. I mean, you want to be outrageous? Yeah. Play with the hair. I'm not dyeing my hair. There's no dye here, okay? Yeah, just experiment with the style. Okay? You don't have to dye your hair. If you want to be outrageous, you don't need tattoos, you don't need piercings. You can be outrageous with colorful clothing. I mean, today I, I, it's kind of drab because I'm at home. But yeah, yeah. Experiment with your style, with no piercings, no tattoos, okay? Um, and if you are women, your hair should be rather long, not short, okay? Yeah, that's how it can be outrageous. Different color of clothing and different style, okay? Now, Jesus is like legislator, okay? Because he made a lot of laws. Christian laws, okay, so he's just like politician, less little. Probably that's why he hated other politicians. Because other politicians like kings, governors, he just hated them, right? He called Herod what fox. Yeah, tell that fox. Okay. And I <coughs> also Jesus what's gonna like a legislator? He made laws, okay? Oh I'm the king of the Jews, you know. It's kind of like Jesus is very much politician, okay? That's why he hated other kings, because they are competitors, okay? So, Jesus also is a, a kind of priest, religious leader, okay? That's what Jesus wanted to be, a leader, okay? So, that's why he hated other Jewish synagogue leaders, like rabbis. Jesus hated them, okay? Why? Because market share, okay? He's trying to get more people to him. So he's competing as a competitor. He, so he hated his competitors. He called them, oh yeah, you snakes. Calling names, okay? That's Mr. Jesus, all right? So you may not know everything about Jesus, but I do. I know everything about him, okay? I know all about Jesus, okay? Uh, because uh, I aspire to be king of kings and teacher of teachers i want to lead kings presidents king of kings president of presidents leader of leaders okay that's what i t try to be i want to be all the way on top of this pyramid we have pyramid right i want to be here i want to teach kings and i want to teach teachers so that they teach other people okay i want to be on top that's my goal Lifetime goal. If I don't get there, that's fine too. But at least I will try to get there. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. Actually, I'm doing this because I'm. I cannot wait I, until I get there. It may take forever, or it may never happen, or I may die tomorrow. Okay. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm teaching. I cannot wait all the way get there and then teach. No, no. I got, have to teach now. So this humanology activity, is it going to help me to get there or help prevent me from getting there? I don't care. Okay? I just live every day to the best of my knowledge. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do I hate governors, senators, congressmen, president? Do I hate them? No, I don't hate them. It's just that uh, they're doing okay job. I mean, senators, congressmen, I mean, they're not the smartest. I can do a lot better than they, what they're doing because I'm smarter, okay? Governors, senators, congressmen, president, yeah, I, they, they are doing okay. It's just that uh, I can do better because I'm smarter. I'm just smarter than they are. All of them combined. Okay, so. 
Whatever, it doesn't matter really. Yeah. It's no biggie, okay. Um I they're nice people, politicians. They they don't mean any evil, you know, they're they're fine people, okay? It's just they're not as smart as, as I am, that's all I'm saying. But hey, it's not their fault, okay? Because I'm just an exceptionally smart person. Okay, so if they are not smarter than me, well, they don't deserve any discredit for that because I'm just the smartest. Okay, so. so I'm not kidding, I'm just being honest. But oh, yeah, you're a narcissist. You do your hair like this. Oh, what a ghetto narcissist. <laughs> Whatever, okay? If you disagree with me, that's fine too, okay? But I, I think I'm the smartest of all, okay? Of all people. In my arrogant opinion. <laughs> In my arrogant opinion, I'm the smartest. And I'm the prettiest too. <laughs> I'm the prettiest boy. <laughs> Ah, boy. Oh. Let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up and do physics, okay? Oh, boy. We're having fun. Yeah, in humanology, we are legislators, too. Okay? I mean, moral. We make moral laws. Jesus, he repeals some laws, too. No, death, no more death penalty. He repealed that law. Okay? Because we are all sinners, so. Jesus repealed, I mean, in the moral world, ethic, world of ethics, meta, metaphysical, this moral laws, yeah, he declared death penalty as immoral. Okay? So he repealed that law. Mosesian law. Okay? Yeah, he's a legislator. Okay? Moral, metaphysical legislator. And so we are. So are we. Okay? Yeah, we make laws like anti-ultra interracialism, anti-tattoo piercism, anti-anti-tabacoism, anti-anti-alcoholism, okay? Because we love alcohol, we love tobacco. Anti-tattoo piercism, anti-sugar fetishism, anti-ultra interracialism, anti-marijuanaism. Yeah, we make a lot of laws. Moral law, okay, moral, ethical. Moral rules. X-File. Oh. I love X Files. X Files. So one episode, a lady says, "Rules are rules." <laughs> Great actors, directors, writers back in those days, man. Yeah, Hollywood used to be really cool. Okay, nowadays, it's just garbage, right? No talents. Why? Because life has become so easy, so people are weak. Okay? If you are weak, you cannot create something new. You have to be a very strong person to create something new. Creativity. You have to be brave. To be different from the rest. That's not an easy thing. Okay? So, yeah, people are weak because life has become so easy due to, thanks to this technology. Life is easy. People are weak. So, all the metaphysical pathogens, they have, they have no defense system. No morality, okay? All the best stuff, they just let it come in. Tattoos, piercings, plastic surgery, ultra interracialism, all this bad, bad stuff. Marijuana, gayism, okay? Yeah, they just let it in and they're weak. And because they're weak, they, they are not strong. So, they cannot stand alone. They cannot be creative they cannot do anything like radically different they just want to be in the mainstream okay so this generation is a very weak generation because thanks to the technological ease ease of life okay that's that kind of spoiled us okay so that's why there's no creativity anywhere in america okay it's just rerun of old stuff. Star Wars, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Superman, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
it's just rerun, rerun, okay? Spin off, okay? Nothing good, nothing new and good is coming, okay? It's all imitation of old stuff, <clears throat> okay? New stuff is all bad. There was bad new stuff like tattoos, piercings, LGBTQI, blah, blah, blah. Horrendous, ugly. Tattoo piercing, sugar fetism, you know, yeah, all the best stuff. Yeah, those are new. But there's no good new stuff out there. Okay? I want to change all that. Okay? So that's why I'm running for president in 2020. Okay? Okay? Okay, let's do leverage. So it's the concept of a torque. Okay? By the way, please don't kill me, okay? <laughs> I say so many things that of that probably will offend you multiple times, right? I'm saying this to you for you. Everything I do, I do it for you. I'm doing it for you because I love you. You may hate me, okay? Haven't you ever hated your parents? I know I have. But yeah, they do things for us. Okay? Yeah. They discipline us on our behalf. Tough love. I mean, it really hurt them to discipline us, punish us. Yeah, it hurt them too. So it's, it's not like they are sadist or our teachers, our parents, our bosses. Yeah, it hurts them, hurts their feeling to discipline us, punish us. But they do it for us because they love us, okay? Our teachers, parents, par bosses, okay? Yeah. I'm doing the same thing to you because I'm 40 years old. I see you people as my children. <laughs> no matter how old you are, doesn't matter, okay? Yeah, we are parents, kind of metaphorical parents to each other because we have something to teach to each other. You, do you have something to teach me? If you're a five-year-old Hispanic kid, you, you know more Spanish than I do. You have something to teach me. If you're a five-year-old Hispanic child, you have something to teach me because your, Hispan your Spanish is better than mine. Okay? Of course you have something to teach me. I, I mean, I don't know everything. Am I the smartest of all? Nah, no. Probably I'm the stupidest of all, okay? Hmm. Am I the prettiest boy? Oh, maybe I'm the ugliest. <laughs> ah, whatever, man. Okay, so. Uh, just, yeah, happy Sunday morning, by the way. I ran out of cigarettes, so I went to the store and I bought some cigarettes and came back. Okay. Check the mailbox. Still no calculus book. Oh, boy. Maybe I got, I got defrauded the second time, so. Uh. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <sighs> Whatever. Ah, oh, boy. Whatever, okay. So, we'll, we'll do this level concept. So, it's torque. Okay, what is torque? Tau, okay, torque is a vector. Uh... Radial, radial vector, radius vector, it's not radial vector, okay? Because we define radial vector in a radical way, brand new. Cross product of radius vector and uh, force, okay? So, you have big mass M1, small mass M2. R1, which is small, R2, okay? You know what? We're going to get rid of index. Because, oh. We want to be as simple as possible, okay? So, small m, see what I'm going with? Large r, 
big M, okay? Small M, small R, okay? We, what we know is this. To derive this, MR is equal to MR. Maybe we should stick with indexing, okay? So, whatever, okay. Large M, small R, multiplied by both, okay? Is equal to large R, small M, multiplied, okay? To derive this, that formula, uh, we need to use the concept of torque. It's a force. It's a cross product, okay? What is cross product? It's uh, magnitude of this vector resultant from, resulting from cross product is uh, absolute value of R multiplied by absolute value of F uh, multiplied by sine theta, okay? And many, many, many times theta is 90 degrees, so sine 90 degrees one, okay? So, yeah, that's that. Okay, so, what is force here? Large M multiplied by G, F equal MA. Here, force, uh, and what's the direction of the torque? It's, it's right hand, okay? Right hand convention. R, F, then direction of the tor torque is that way, okay? It's a perpendicular, so it's three-dimensional thing, okay? I'll show it to you, okay? So, this is F. Big F is equal to big M G. Now you have small F is equal to small M times G, F equal MA. G, gravitational acceleration. Okay, gravitational constant. 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay. You can kind of see it, right? That's enough, right? It's not that important. You don't really have to see this very clearly, okay? Yeah, F equal MA, I mean, come on, it's just easy, right? So, you don't have to see it very clearly because it's such an easy, simple thing, all right? Now, you have big force pulling it down because it's heavy mass, small force. But why is this equal. I mean, they're good in balance. See so. Why is that the case? Yeah, it's a concept of leverage. Okay? So what's the equation? Tor is torque. Tor is the torque that is the same. Alright? But torque is all about leverage. It's expression or mathematical modeling of leverage. Okay? So, here, the right-hand torque is this. R, F. R, F, the torque goes that way, into the, into the whiteboard, okay? There's a torque on the right side, torque on the left side is R, F, so it's coming out of this whiteboard, so torque on the left side is pointing away from the whiteboard, Torque on the right side is pointing into the whiteboard, so opposite direction torque. Two torque in the opposite direction, and the magnitude of the torque is the same. Why? R times F. Okay. Now, R times F. What is F? Mg. And is it equal? We don't know yet. And on the right side, you have big R times small m times g. Okay? Well, whether it's equal or not, doesn't matter, right? G and g cancels out. Okay? Is it equal? Yes. Why? Because it's on the balance. So. Torque going that way, 
torque going this way is in opposite direction and magnitude must be the same. That's why it's not moving. It's in uh, equilibrium. Okay. So yeah, it is equal. And that's how we got R, small r times big M is equal to large r times small m. Okay. That's the leverage concept. Okay. Yeah. This small guy, okay, he can lift a big, big boulder if you have this long, long, long lever. So this guy is a clever, clever man with a lever, okay? I try to rhyme, you know. Yeah, lever is clever, okay? Leverage. Um, we'll talk, talk more about financial leverage later, okay? Because that's kind of interesting concept too, all right? Yeah, all, all those weird, somewhat fraudulent things that financial people do, yeah, it's, it's interesting. You know, the pretty woman, you know? That guy was like corporate trader, was that kind of invader, kind of predatory, predatory kind of guy, Richard Gere, okay? Yeah, it's a pretty woman, he was about that. Merger and M&A, merger and acquisition, whatever, okay? So, very parasitic, blood-sucking, okay? Uh. So that's that character Richard Gere played, okay? He's cool. Richard Gere, I think he's a cool guy. Okay. He may not be the best actor, but... Good looking guy, eh? Uh, yeah. Cool. I, I liked his performance in The Pretty Woman. That, that was a good, good performance. Anyway, yeah, we'll talk about financial leverage later, okay? But Drink, dealing with physical leverage, okay? So, this lever is like this. Uh, if you're gonna lift this big thing just a little bit, you have to move a lot, long, long way, because I'm gonna erase this, all right? Okay, so it's like circle centered at this hinge point. Oh. Hinge point, okay, right? Pew! Con two concentric circle, okay? We. I have never seen a diagram like this before. Yeah, this is something very elementary, pedagogical, educational, instructional, very basic stuff. But we are improving this pedagogy, instructional methodology of physics. Okay? <coughs> we are like good teachers, good shepherds. <coughs> How do we educate children better physics, you know? So yeah, I mean, this may not make it into science journal or nature journal uh, as an academic paper, but at least kids will learn physics better this way, okay? Yeah, that's fine too. We love our kids, future generation. I got no kids, but your kids, well, I see them as my children. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm stealing your children. Oh, yeah, kidnapping, metaphysical kidnapping. Bring all your children to me. But I don't want to raise them, though. <laughs> Too much work. No, you raise them, okay? I, I don't want your kids. No way, man. Oh, I just enjoy watching them on the shopping mall, on the street, and in the supermarket. Oh, they're beautiful. Children are beautiful. I don't want to raise them, okay? You, you, you do that shit. I don't want that shit, okay? Oh my goodness, no. Fuck no. <laughs> hey. 
Hell no, man. Oh, too much work. I'd rather do this, okay? I'd rather do this. To me, this is a metaphorical child, okay? I'm raising my child right here. So I'm doing my job, okay? So, oh boy. Yeah, think of a lab, this seesaw or lever, okay? Now, forget about this hinge point, okay? This fulcrum, forget about it. Focal point, just get rid of it. So then what is this? It's like a clock with a short but thicker hour arm and this uh, minute middle, min minute arm that's thinner but longer, okay? It moves faster too, right? So it's a good analogy, okay? The, the hour arm is heavy, it's thicker, but it's shorter, but it moves very slow, okay? Yeah, it's a good analogy, okay? Wall clock with two, with our hand and minute hand and uh, seesaw, this level, okay? Yeah, good pedagogical instructional technique now, okay? I'm teacher of all teachers, okay? I'm teaching you. I hope you are, some of you are teachers, okay? So that you can teach your kid, your students better. I'm parent of all parents, okay? So, so I teach you, parents, so that you can do better parenting of your children and grandchildren, okay? I'm leader of all leaders, okay, so that you can lead better. Perhaps I don't have to be the president, okay? Maybe some of you will be the president. Yeah, go ahead, do it, okay? So I'm president of king of all kings, okay? So I'm educating kings so that they can do better job as kings, sure, okay? Yeah, I'm here to, to help you, <laughs> okay? You have to help you. All right. So, uh, yeah, you have seesaw, right? I mean, it hits the ground, okay? Then let's just flip it 90 degree and just turn the seesaw around all around this playground 360 degree, okay? So that's that, okay? Now, in a different color, okay? When it's even, okay? So, you are, there's some big rock somewhere here, right? Big, big, big rock, okay? You want to lift this up by using this lever, right? You're lifting up, it goes from here to here, okay? Very small lifting. You're lifting just a little bit. But to do that, you're like, <gasps> long, long, long distance. Okay? But is, is this still heavy? Oh yeah, you need a longer lever. Just like a wrench. Right? Sometimes <clears throat> this bolt, nuts and bolts, is just so big and so tight. You need a big, long, 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 long wrench. You're in what is torque? Okay. Torque is a rotational force. Okay. T tau is equal to R multiplied by F. Okay. You only have small force because you don't have that much muscle. And you are not that heavy, okay? You can still lift this big, big thing if you have very, very long lever. Very, very long, long, long lever. And also, you will have to move a lot. You may have to move a mile. Okay, this Big, big circle, okay? If you have, the longer lever you have, the more leverage that you have. Meaning, you're still a small guy like me. I don't have that much muscle. I'm light, weight. I don't have that much muscle, okay? I'm not that heavy. Maybe 180 pounds, maybe, okay? 
So I need a longer and longer, longer level because I'm physically very weak. Okay. Yeah, but if I very long level, yeah, it will take forever to move this level from here to here a long, long distance. But yeah, I'm weak. I'm nobody. I'm small guy. But I have all the time I, I, in my hands, I have time. So it's like this, okay? Rich people, heavyweight, right? They don't have time. They're busy, but they have a lot of money. So where do they go? They don't go to Walmart. No, they go to the expensive shopping centers, expensive groceries, okay? Because they got a lot of money, but they don't have time to wait in the line. Okay, we don't hate rich people here, okay? It's a diversity, right? Rich people, they're just doing their job. They're not happier than us, okay? We like, we want to preserve that diversity. Rich people, poor people, it's a good thing, okay? It's a diversity, okay? I'm, I'm poor myself, I'm not rich. <sighs> so poor people like me, we don't have money. But we have time. So yeah, we can afford to wait in a long line. Then that's what we do. We go to Walmart, McDonald's, right? But rich people, they have a lot of money, but they don't have time. So where do they go? They go to expensive restaurants where there's no waiting line. <laughs> okay, because only a handful of people can afford that expensive food, okay? Yeah, it's that, it's that, okay? Poor guy, small guy, going the long distance because we have a lot of time. Rich guy, yeah, they don't have time. But they're heavy, a lot of money. So yeah, they just pay big money. Big mess, okay? And small distance, okay? Poor guy, yeah, you wear long line because he's small guy. He have very little money. So, in this analogy, money, okay? Big money, small money. This is time. Small time, large time. Okay, because space is kind of like time, you know? And mass, energy mass. They count the same thing, right? So yeah, we are connecting space and time. Space and time is kind of the same thing, right? And energy mass, Kind of same thing, okay? Yeah, money, energy, copium, okay? Yeah, we got it, okay? You take a break, okay? So, yeah, why, why don't you chew on this for a while? For a while okay? Yeah, chew on it. Let it sink in, okay? Yeah, think about this. I, I think it's a very beautiful thing we, that we just did. It's our baby. <laughs> Metaphysical baby, okay? Metaphysical partnership. Yeah, like business partner, academic partner. Yeah, that's what we're doing, okay? Our baby, okay? So, we take a break. All right. Yeah.
Okay, we're back. So, uh... <clears throat> Ooh, it's chilly. We gotta close the mosquito back on. Oh, boy. So, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, you have three concentric circle, okay. What does this remind me remind us of? What does this three concentric circle remind us of? What does this look like? Something we talked about like a couple of episodes ago. I give you like a minute to think about it. what what does this look like? Hmm? I'll give you a minute, alright? That's a quiz. We are connecting the dots, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. God, thank you for giving us, sending us Holy Spirit. Good knowledge. It's like metaphysical economic powerhouse here. We are pumping out a lot of good knowledge, brand new discovery here, okay? Good. Congratulations for being part of this exciting journey, okay? Congratulations. Uh, PG-13, okay? I, I, I like saying this, congratulations. <laughs> I like inserting this F bomb in in you know word. <laughs> I'm ghetto, okay. I'm I'm very ghetto kind of guy. So, uh, what do you expect? Ghetto king, king of the ghettos. Oh, look at his hairstyle. That's so ghetto. Oh yeah, avant garde. Okay, ghetto avant garde. How about that? <laughs> oh. Ghetto avant-garde, this ghetto king. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my god, it's so funny. It looks like a forest. Whatever, man. Uh, ghetto king. Living in his cave. Living in his own world. His he claims that he's what? King of the Jews? Ah! <laughs> oh, he thinks he's Jesus. Delusional. <laughs> he's a sociopath, psychopath. I think we should arrest him because I think he's going to be a domestic terrorist. What are you doing? Are you building bombs? You gonna kill people, hmm? No, no. No. Don't commit any crime, okay? Because I don't. All right. Maybe I'm a cultural terrorist. Metaphysical terrorist. So I'm attacking a lot of stuff. I'm attacking ideologies. I'm not fighting people. This is spiritual warfare, like uh, Christians talk about. Spiritual, yeah, it's a good phrase. Spiritual warfare, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not fighting people. I'm not killing people. I'm killing devils, satans. I'm, I'm an exorcist, ghostbuster, okay? I only fight spirits, evil, unclean spirits. They are my enemies. I, I love people. I'm trying to save people. I'm trying to rescue people, okay? Because devil is taking them hostage, taking you hostage. Maybe taking me hostage too. Maybe I'm possessed by some some kind of devil that I'm not quite realizing it is a devil. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Oh yeah, you think what I'm I'm infected by this alcoholism, tobacco is addiction. Nicotine addiction, alcohol addiction. 
But I have to disagree with you. <laughs> I have to disagree with you, okay? Because I call tobacco they are good. As long as you do it, you know, mod is in moderation. Look how slow I drink. I drink very slowly. I drink at home. Very slowly. But yeah, every night. On weekends, in the morning too. Okay. So anyway, yeah, what does this look like? Yeah, contour line. Bird's eye view, satellite view. You're looking down a mountain. Okay? It's a pyramid. A cone. Okay? In a conic section, you know. Cone. Like birthday cone. Birthday hat. It's pyramid. Okay? Can you see this? I, I cannot see that on the screen because I'm not wearing my glasses. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, that's good enough. You got the idea. Yeah, it's uh, on top of the mountain right here. Rich people, right? They're very close to the center, the focal point of this fulcrum, hinge point. They're very close to it. As you go farther and farther away, yeah, you are fringe of the society, at the bottom of society, like me, ghetto guy. Mr. Ghetto. Ah, call me Mr. Alaskan Ghetto. Okay, Mr. Ghetto. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ghetto. How does your ghetto s smell this morning? <laughs> Say hello to your bad bug. Well, I got no bad bug, man. Yeah, I may be a ghetto. I may be a ghetto king, but I got no bad bugs. I got a few spiders in my house. I Whenever I see it, I kill it. Sometimes fruit flies, yeah, I kill them too. Okay. Oh boy. Ghetto king. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I will only, maybe you can characterize me as a metaphysical terrorist, but it depends on the point of view, okay? Because when back in the, in the World War I, World War II days, uh, Japan, Japan colonized South Korea. I mean, not South Korea, Korean Peninsula. Japan colonized Korea. Korean Peninsula, North and South. Back then, there was no North and South Korea, okay? It was just one Korea. So, Japan colonized Korea, and what they did was um, they tortured all this opposition, Korean resistance, okay? So, what did some Koreans do? They assassinated the Empire of Japan, <laughs> okay? His name is An Jun Gun. Mr. An Jung-gun, okay? He's a, Co a Korean hero. But in the eyes of Japanese, he's a terrorist. Okay? So, hero in one Korea, historic hero in one Korea, in, in one country, is a, is an assassin, is a terrorist in another country. Okay? I just want you to know this relativity of heroism, and villainism, okay? So, again, I'm not attacking people. No, I'm attacking the ideology, okay? Do I want to kill that ideology of gayism? Yes, I want to kill it. But it's not a murder because I'm not killing people. I'm killing Satan, okay? It's not homicide, it's a, it's a spiritocide. I'm killing the spirits, evil spirits, okay? Do I want to kill it? Yes. I want to get rid of it, okay? I want to get rid of Satan. I want to send it to hell. I, or, or I want to make it disappear from Mars. And people are just captives, hostages, slaves of Satan. Satan is a spirit, it's a concept level. 
or angel level. It's a metaphysical hierarchy, right? Seven hierarchy in metaphysics. Yeah. God, angel, concept, human, animal, plant, object. Okay? So yeah, I'm not fighting people because people are, come on, they're too low. I have evolved myself so that I'm more like an angel or ideology. Okay? So I only fight I pick on guys of my own size. I don't pick on smaller guys, like people. I don't fight people. Okay? I only fight spirits because I have evolved to that higher level. Okay? So yeah, I fight with this guy of my own size. Devil. Demons. Spirits. Ideologies. That's what I fight with. Okay? Because people to me, yeah, you are under me. Because I'm more like conceptual level, ideological level, angel level. So I want to protect people who are weaker and smaller than and lower than me. Okay? I know, yeah, it sounds narcissistic, delusional. <laughs> call me what, whatever you want, okay? Call me crazy, call me stupid, call me delusional, narcissist. I, I cannot care less, okay? Call me names, that's fine. Okay? At least I'm, I'm giving you something to laugh at, right? I'm giving people something to talk about. Don't you hear, haven't you heard this song? Fantastic song. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. La, la, la. Yeah, I like that song. Very charming, female. Some white people can sing. I think she's a white girl. Kind of mature, maybe in her forties. Oh, beautiful, beautiful voice. I can, when I hear her sing, I can hear her intelligence. I can sense she's a very smart, wise, experienced. What's your lady? Oh, I love those ladies. Okay. So yeah, we small guys, we work long hours. For just to make the same money. We wait in long line to get one same meal. Okay? And the rich guy a lot of money, just heavyweight, right? And there's me, small guy with little money. So I have to wait long line because there are so many of us who are poor. Long line in the McDonald's, long line in the Walmart because there's so many of us. Poor people at the bottom of society, right? But there are very few rich people. So yeah, they go to fancy restaurant. They, they don't wait. We have very little, okay? You get the same meal. <laughs> it's not like they're eating a lot. Eating, do rich people eat like five times a day? No, they eat three times a day, just like us. Okay? Same meal. But we are, because we are so poor, small, lightweight, long line, okay? Long work hours. Okay? Rich people, yeah, they, they don't work then long hours, but then so they don't wait in long line. So they don't pay in terms, yeah, so shorter distance, shorter time, shorter waiting line, okay? But big money, they pay a lot of money to get this one meal by going to fancy restaurant, okay? Us, long line because we are lightweight, we are, we are very small money long work hours, whatever, okay? Yeah, don't hate rich people, okay? Please. That's what socialists, communists do. See, there's diversity. And look at me, I, I'm a poor guy. Don't hate rich people, okay? That's, because that's covetousness, jealousy, okay? And it's forbidden in Bible, okay? Do not covet. Okay, you wanna be rich? Yeah, study. Okay, study, go to school, 
you don't have money to go to school, yeah, then join the U.S. military. They give you a job deal. Okay? I joined the army when I was like 31. Everybody else was like 19, 18, right? When they joined the army. So yeah, I was like more than 10 years older than those young guys. And they loved me. I loved them. Okay, because they are like my young little brothers, you know. To them, I'm like big brother, you know. So yeah, we loved. We we had a lot of fun in the army. I love young people, okay? They're cute. <laughs> Fresh. Sometimes I slap their butt, you know. <laughs> hey! Young boy! <laughs> Yeah, I, I love young people, girls. Well, I don't slap ass, asses of girls, I, unless she's my girlfriend. If, I, if she's my girlfriend, do I slap her ass? Yeah. I have some ex-girlfriends, okay? So, now I'm single because I'm just too busy. I got no money to date, and I have developed this weird, stupid humanology and politics. So girls don't want me, okay? For a very understandable reason, because I'm making myself very unpopular political minority by opposing tattoo piercing, sugar fetishism, and gayism, and yeah, anti-gayism, anti-sugar fetishism, blah, 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 okay? We'll take a break, okay? We'll take a break. We'll have some more fun with this seesaw, you know, children's playground, because we are kind of retarded that way. Okay, so, okay. All right. Well, we are connecting a lot of dots here, okay? So, let's appreciate that. We'll be back.
Oh, we're back. So, uh... So, um... Leverage, okay, so... Yeah, but we are living in a good society where there's this class mobility is possible, okay? I look at President Obama, he was... He grew up in a single mother, under a single mother. They were not rich, but he studied very hard. He went to Harvard. He went to a college, then he transferred to Columbia University, which is Ivy, Ivy League. And then he went to went ahead with the Harvard Law School. And then later on, he became University of Chicago professor. And then U.S. Senator in, for Illinois. And then he became the president. Okay, so yeah, upward class mobility is possible in America. So yeah, we're living in a good world. Okay. Yeah, you can move up, right? So in a way, he's a positive role model, President Obama, because he once was one of my role models. Okay, because him and Vice President Joe Biden, they were great inspiration inspiration to me when I was in California. Okay, so that's why. I decided to go to law school. Okay, it took very long time because I was a computer programmer in Los, Los Angeles back then, and because when I saw them, Joe Biden debating with uh, then Alaskan governor uh, Sarah Palin, which is great, who is actually great governor actually. She's she's now that I live in Alaska, I kind of know a little bit about her, but I've never met her in person but uh, yeah uh, she's actually very she's beautiful and also she's smart and strong person okay so <clears throat> she's not as stupid as people think okay yeah she's did a lot of good stuff for Alaska okay and um but yeah Joe Biden Vice, Vice President Joe Biden, uh, Senator back then, Senator Joe Biden debated Sarah Palin and President Obama, then U.S. Senator Obama uh, debated with McCain, John McCain or something, the prisoner of war, Vietnam War. Is he a Navy pilot or something? Yeah, Senator. John McCain or something, right? From Arizona, right? Yeah, and uh, I was so impressed by this performance by uh, two lawyers, Joe Biden and Barack Obama. And they gave me very good impression, okay? Morally conscien conscientious people. That's how... That was my impression on them, okay? Oh, finally! Moral, moral, ethical people who, who really cares about people. Finally, they become the president and vice president. Wow. Back then, I was kind of liberal, you know. More liberal, liberal than conservative. So, I was kind of okay with gay marriage back then when I was living in California, okay. So, yeah, they, they did inspire me, okay. And uh, because... It was fresh and new, you know. I guess there's this political swing, left, right, left, right, left, right, like in army cadence, right, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, left, right. Because we get fed up with conservatism. So yeah, you want some liberal president. And then we are fed up with liberal president, all these liberals. So, so we elect conservative president, President Trump, right? Yeah, it works that way, okay? Pendulum. And it's good because if we are being balanced, right? Ah, oh, boy. 
It's the hero run, it's chilly. It's the hero run outside, I mean the living room. Yeah, it is. Well then it's time for my nightcap and scarf. Oh boy. We are connecting the dots here. We are, we are doing economics, politics, sociology, physics. We are connecting a lot of dots here. Okay. From this single seesaw in, on a playground level. Okay. Okay, I guess it's time to talk about leverage, financial leverage. Okay. It's like this. I mean, it's kind of some of the things, strategies that I learned. Sometimes it's something illegal or some something, some fraudulent scheme that I learned in s school. Why? There are lawsuits, some federal cases, criminal cases. Yeah, case study, right? Something that some people did in the past. So yeah, I studied that, right? In law school, some, and in law school, I took some business classes too. So uh, it's very intriguing and fascinating. Yeah. Because that's probably why God created the devil, the liar, the deceiver, because it's kind of intriguing. <laughs> I mean, look at a movie, okay? What's a bad man if not for a joker? Evil character villains, they have better sense of humor. You have Superman, right? And then you have uh, Lex Luthor. What? Gene Hackman, right? And Superman, yeah. Not Keanu Reeves, but what Christopher Reeves, right? Okay, Matrix movie. You have Agent Smith, and then you have Keanu Reeves, Neo, who, who was who's a computer programmer actually. Matrix movie it kind of interesting because computer programmer that's now superhero, the Neo. That's kind of interesting concept. I'm a computer programmer too. Okay, I know how to program. Well, I don't do that anymore because now I, all I'm doing is pushing paper. But uh, yeah, X computer program, okay? I major in computer science. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Typically, yeah, yeah, villains have better sense of humor, like Agent Smith. Uh, we love Agent Smith, man. We don't like a neo, uh, a goody, goody, boring shit. Uh oh. You're like Jesus. You know, you know, you don't have sense of humor. You're just goody goody, morality, ethics, hey, blah 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 blah. You're like Jesus. You are so boring. Oh, self to sacrifice, crucifixion. Oh yeah, sin, devil, Satan, hey. Holy Spirit, God. Oh yeah, be nice, be good. Come on, man. <laughs> it's not funny. Not entertaining, but yeah, just Batman, Superman, Neo, all the good characters, they don't have good sense of humor, okay? But evil characters like Joker, yeah, he jokes, that's why he's a Joker, right? Or Agent Smith, or Lex Luthor, yeah, they have fantastic sense of humor. How about me? Am I a goody goody boring Jesusian kind of guy? No, I'm not. I'm very very satanic. <laughs> I told you many times I'm worse than the devil himself. Right? I'm more satanic than Satan himself. Okay, so what does that mean? I have very good sense of humor, okay? <laughs> I'm not a goody goody. I'm a bad boy. But I'm a good bad boy though. Because I don't hurt anybody. 
Okay, I go after the bad, bad, evil ideology. And I, when I go at it, I can be very cruel and very harsh. Let boys be boys, man, okay? Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm naughty boy, okay? I'm a boy at heart. Yeah, you can say I'm retarded, who never grew, know how to grow up, but always looking for trouble and oh well but Jesus said yeah be like children so that's what I'm doing in a way I'm kind of Jesus here yeah. <laughs> just cherry picking self justification right oh well <sighs> I know how to justify anything okay because I went to law school okay ah <laughs> Ultimate pro se, self defending, whatever. Metaphysical criminal, metaphysical terrorist. But everything I do, I do it for you because I love you. Okay, I'm trying to save people, heal people. Okay, by destroying the devil and Satan. I go after the Satan, you know. Oh boy. We're gonna erase this, okay? We're gonna talk about financial leverage, alright? Some of the schemas that all these past criminals, what they use, you know, just, uh, what they did is, you know, one of the things they did is called Ponzi scheme, okay? Ponzi. Ponzi scheme, okay? <clears throat> what is it? Uh, Ponzi scheme. I mean, these criminals, man, ah, uh, they, they're very smart people, okay? So, if they used their intelligence, To create a legitimate business, they would have succeeded because they are very smart and also they are hardworking people. Okay, but they love Satan. They just like it illegal. They love the dark side of the moon, so to speak. Okay, so uh, they decide to do something illegal. Okay. But they didn't have to. They got the intelligence. They got the discipline. They got the diligence. They could have done the right thing to do. But and then they could have succeeded. Because they're smart and they're hardworking. But illegal stuff actually is something easier than something legal. Okay. So okay, Ponzi scheme. You have a company, okay? You don't need to draw, draw diagram here, okay? Oh, Ponzi scheme works like this, okay? I got no money. I got no idea. I have no business idea. I have no idea and I have no money, okay? But I want to make a lot of money. So what do I do? I start borrowing money. Hey, rich uncle, rich people, yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna pay you back, okay? That's me, okay? A. I'm empty. My bank account is empty, okay? I borrow money from B. And I use it all. I go online and I tell girls, hey, I'm a millionaire. I bor borrow a million dollars from B. I'm a millionaire, so, oh, yeah, okay, I date you, because girls love money, right? And I buy her jewelry so that she can have sex with me, because that's what girls are like, okay? You buy her fancy stuff, yeah, she'll want to have sex with you. It's pure biology, 
evolution. That's how women's mind works. They love rich men, okay? They get turned on, they get horny, okay? <coughs> kind of like prostitution, okay? The same thing, okay? But it's not prostitution because she's having sex with only you, with only you. It's like marriage, monogamy. Yeah, that's the difference between marriage and prostitution, okay? Your prostitution is kind of like promiscuous, you know, a uh, uh, sex worker, okay? But I want to respect them because uh, I, they're human beings and I love them, right? They're my, my daughters, my sisters, okay? Yeah, we are all big one family under one God, our Heavenly Father, okay? I'm a Christian, okay? So, yeah. So, yeah, sex workers, what they do, uh, <clears throat> they have sex with a lot of men. Okay, and they make money. How about wife, housewife, homemaker? Yeah, she make money by selling her vagina to her husband, but it's monogamy, just one man. Okay, so that's the difference between prostitution and marriage. Okay, but essentially the same thing. Women use their vagina as a currency. Okay, but that's what we guys want. Okay, it's just the way I'm telling you the way it is. I'm not saying it's bad or good. I'm just describing it to you. Okay? It's the same thing. Women use their vagina and their boobies, their body as a sexual currency. Okay? So there's some similarity and difference between prostitution and marriage. Okay? Because in marriage, it's monogamous, it's not promiscuous. Okay? Back to Ponzi scheme. So, uh, person A borrows money from B and he spends it all. He buy yacht, Lamborghini, BMW, Mercedes, Ferrari, airplanes, whatever. And for the heck of it, he, he burns his cars, so money is gone, okay? And B is now asking the money back. Hey, where's my money, man? Pay me back. Well, He borrows even more money, like principal, principal plus interest, okay? So he borrowed $1 million from B, so interest is like, uh, what, $10,000, whatever, okay? So he borrows $1 million and $10,000 from C. So it's piling up, it's snow snowball rolling down the hill, getting bigger and bigger, bigger, okay? And then... With the money that he borrowed C from C, he pays back to B. Okay? Dollar Prime, okay? Now, A have no money. Okay? And C is now asking A, where's my money? Oh, I know the soccer, okay? Like Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg was stupid, stupid soccer, okay? Yeah, he was client of this Madoff or something, this Ponzi scheme guy in Manhattan, okay? Yeah. Soccer, stupid soccer, Steven Spielberg. I, I don't like him, okay? He's an ultra internationalist man. Uh, he's a Jewish guy, he's an ethnic man. He married beautiful young white girl many times. Several women of them, okay? I don't like him. I don't like his movies, okay? He's overrated. Also, the Queen, you know, the British band, there's recently they, a movie came out, right? Because, just because he's a gay guy. Why don't you make a movie about Helen Keller? Hmm? Oh, you have to characterize Helen Keller as a lesbian first, right? Nowadays. <sighs> Hollywood. 
gayified. They became very gay. Hollywood. Ugh. No wonder they are not making any good movies, okay? It's all about gays and lesbians and transgender. Why don't you make a movie about Helen Keller, huh? You have to first come up with some theory about Helen Keller, maybe she was a lesbian. <laughs> then you will make a movie, right? About Helen Keller? Well, because what? Well, there's a theory about Helen Keller being a lesbian, right? Oh, so horrible. Oh my goodness. Hollywood, dude. We, we gotta get rid of Hollywood, okay? When I'm the president, I will get rid of Hollywood. Fucking Hollywood, dude. Actually, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I will give them a new job, okay? They will be all doing cherry picking, okay? Because we're gonna decentralize Hollywood, okay? Every big city or mid-sized mid city with television station, they will be making movies, okay? Hollywood, they will be just cherry picking the best of the best. They will be their job. I, I'm going to give them a new job. They are not going to make any more movies. Okay? So it's because... Uh, every town have very beautiful people, okay? So yeah, yeah, make good movies. Not pornography, but... Yeah, comedy, romance, drama. Yeah. Because... We oppose prostitution, lap dancing, gentleman's club. We oppose that because... It's demeaning to women. We love women. We want to protect women. Our sisters and daughters. Okay. We don't want want them to degrade themselves in a social hierarchy. Okay. We want them to have to be actors and models. Okay. Rather than pornographic actresses or prostitutes we don't want that okay we want them to have good life and good reputation all right so yeah yeah local television station they make movies tv shows dramas talent shows yeah you don't have to get naked I, all you need is just wear some skirts maybe short skirts short pants tight pants ripped jeans Fishnet stockings, or some stockings, stilettos, high heel shoes, tight fitting blouse. <laughs> That's fine, okay? You don't have to get naked, alright? We don't want you to. We want to protect you. We love women. We respect women, okay? We are not feminists, but we are not bad guys. We are good guys. We want to protect you. We want your dignity. Okay, good reputation. Yeah. Okay, back to Ponzi scheme. Okay, yeah. Hey, C, C is asking, hey, why, where is my money? Okay, just give me one day. Okay, I, I get your money. The, another sucker. Yeah, D give you A barrel from D money. One million dollars and five thousand dollars. One million dollars plus fifty thousand dollars, whatever. Okay, yeah, I pay you back from money from D. Okay. In the meanwhile, A is just living high life. Okay. Because he's borrowing bigger and bigger and bigger money. Okay. But A is not producing any product. He's just spending with somebody else's money. That's Ponzi scheme. Okay. Ponzi, that sounds, kind of sounds like Italian. So I guess it's kind of Italian mafia. <laughs> Smart, but criminal. Okay, Italian, Italian mafia. Okay. What a shame. You know, Italy used to be this Roman empire. And also Italy is where this Roman Catholic church is. Such a shame. You know, Italians... I've been to Italy, okay? They're nice people, very smart people, and very aesthetically advanced people. Look at all the arts, Italy. Look at all the classical, classical music, like Puccini, Verdi. Yeah, great music, great fine art. <coughs> Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Donatello, Coabunga. Teenage 
Ninja Mutant Toto, whatever. Okay, so yeah, yeah, uh, Italy used to be great, but they also generated a lot of mafias and criminals, okay. Italian immigrants in America, they are notorious. notorious. Like Chicago outfit, and in Chicago, yeah, Italian mafia. In New York, yeah, they have New York Italian mafia, you know. Yeah, Godfather, all that shit, okay. But they're smart people though, okay. Motherfuckers, uh. But I love Italy, okay? Do you have Italian what? Pizza, pasta. I love pizza, I love pasta. I just don't want any cheese on it, okay? You can make a pasta, pizza without any cheese. I had one before, okay? Vegetarian pizza, vegan pizza, okay? No cheese, but it's so delicious. My next challenge to you, no oil. No olive oil, no sugar. Pizza without any sugar, any fat. Fat-free, sugar-free pizza. Fat-free, sugar-free pasta. That's what I cook, okay? When I cook, I don't put any oil. I don't put any sugar, okay? Just water, fat-free milk, spices, chicken breast, turkey, lean, lean ground beef, no fat, no sugar, okay? It's delicious. Paprika, spice, Italian so spice, soybean sauce, vinegar, fat-free milk, salt and pepper. It's delicious, okay? Yeah, we'll take a break, okay? We'll talk more, more about this finance, financial scheme, okay? I want to erase this, okay? Just Ponzi scheme, don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Are you a computer programmer or do you want to learn computer pro programming? Don't be a hacker, okay? Do not do not do anything criminal, okay? Because you're going to ruin your life, okay? I don't want you to ruin your life, okay? Don't be criminal, all right? Don't break any law. We'll be back.
Yeah, my microwave was making this strange noise, whatever. Oh, okay. So, what do we talk about now? I'm okay, financial stuff. All right, so. Um, some of the things that Mitt Romney did was this, okay? It, it's nothing illegal, but something very immoral, okay? What they, what they do is this. This is a nice company, okay? That's producing good products, okay? Some nice companies, okay? They're producing very good products and they make a good living. And this hedge fund manager or whatever, this company is just kind of like predatory animals in the financial world, they start to entice, like seduce this nice company. Hey, we got big money. Take this money and expand your company, okay? It's like just lending, this greedy lenders, right? With high interest rest, interest rate, okay? And this naive small companies, they're like, ooh, money. Ooh, you're from Boston, you're from Manhattan, ooh. They got dazed, mesmerized. So yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take your money. And of course they cannot pay back. Why? Because there's fixed demand. Uh, you, you are running a noodle company or this fabric company. If you overproduce, it's not gonna sell. Okay? There's limited demand. I, even if you produce more with this brand new investment money, you hire more people, you produce more clothing or more noodles, it's not gonna sell because market is already saturated. This more supply does not create more demand. No, it will drive the price down. So the company will go bankrupt. Then what do they do? They take over the company. Oh yeah, you cannot pay me back, so okay, then you have to pay me something. Give me your company. And then what do they do with this company? They sell it, sell it to somebody else with a profit. That's what Mitt Romney did. Mr. Mitt Romney, the governor of Massachusetts, the very first state who legalized gay marriage under his stupid leadership, Mitt Romney. Motherfucker, okay? He's what, fucking Mormon? Fucking LDS? Latter day Saint? My goodness. That's Mitt Romney right there, okay? Ew. Yeah, Harvard Law School, Harvard MBA, that's Mitt Romney, okay? So, people who went to Harvard, some of them are extremely corrupt, okay? I've seen some nice Harvardian people. I have even seen some people from who used to work for Goldman Sachs. Yeah, some of them are very nice people, okay? Hardworking, smart, yeah, I got it, okay? Some Harvard, Yale people, I have some friends there, okay? I mean, who graduated from those schools? Stanford, Harvard, Yale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not all bad, but some of them are very, very bad. Okay, so. Yeah, and what, what are Democratic Party doing? Yeah, bring in all the illegal immigrants and give them citizenship. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, Democrat, Democratic Party. In return, you're going to vote for me. Okay. Democratic Party. Awful, awful. Okay. So yeah, financial leverage is this, okay? I'm going to put very little money or no money. I'm gonna borrow money, okay? 
to start this bogus company or whatever, okay? So, financial leverage just works like this, okay? So, ah, uh, boy. Maximum leverage, what is it? I'm not using a single penny of my own money, okay? So, so there's A, right? Person A, I, I don't put a single penny in this business venture, business transaction, okay? I borrow money from this stupid B, okay? So, okay? Then I invest on this company by purchasing stocks, bonds, whatever. Bonds, stocks, okay, this is uh, accounting equation, okay? Um, it's like Ali, right? Asset is equal to liability plus uh, AO, equity, okay? So a company, you're a business owner, right? Your asset, like your land, your manufacturing factory, your employees, whatever. It's financed by your money and somebody else's money. That's liability, debt, bond. Equity, like stocks, your own money. Or business, your co-partner, co-business owner's money. Yeah, stockholders, okay? Your money and somebody else's money, okay? Typically, it's like 90, 10. 90% 90 is somebody else's money. 10%. Technically, your money, but it's not, not red. Why? Because you have what, 90, 10, right? 10, 9 plus 1, right? Nine people, they are stockholders, okay? So they are not quite managing your company, okay? They're just moms and pops or institutional investors like insurance companies, banks hedge fund, whatever fund, retirement fund, pension fund, insurance fund. Yeah, big part of money, right? Stockholders, okay? Technically, yeah, they have voting right, blah, 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 but no. They don't really, they're not in the board of governor. They're not in the board, okay? You put just one dollar to it. Nine, yeah, there's other stockholders, the suckers. Ninety, yeah, suckers, the lenders, okay. Debt, equity, stocks, bond, okay. So that's what it is. That's how you finance your company, okay. <laughs> that's how business is run, okay. So, I mean, how is a baby born? Sex, right? It's something kind of like dark and evil, you know. Oh yeah, Adam and Eve, snake, sex, something kind of like shady, you know. But that's how babies born, right? How is business run? This, okay. Somebody else's money, okay. Because running a business is very tough, okay. So yeah, maybe it's okay to give them some allowance, okay. But after all, yeah, they are business, they create jobs, they make products that we buy, okay, so it's kind of shady, you know, shady, just like sex, how baby is born, we want to hide this from kids until, at least until they grow up, just like Santa Claus, right, we are, our intention is good, okay, yeah, Santa Claus, Christmas, okay. Or well, sex. Yeah, it's nothing wrong. I mean, she's my girlfriend or she's my, it's not ultra interracialistic or, or she's my wife. It's not ultra interracialistic. Yeah, we are adults. We just want to have some fun. What's wrong with that? But kids, you don't have to know. <laughs> kind of shady, you know. Oh, this PG-13 material, okay. Shady because reproductive organs is kind of right next to or same as dirty stuff like 
sewage, Urin urination or defecation. That's where the genital organs are, right? Right next to it, you know, or the same for males, for females, right next to it. Yeah, it's kind of dark and dingy and dirty stuff, you know. Uh, why? When I was a child. <laughs> when I was a child and I was, just, I was watching this television and this men and women kissing in this movie. I was like, ew, oh my goodness. Disgusting, why are they doing that shit? When I was a child, like what, five years old. Why, why do they kiss each other like that? Oh, disgusting. Eee, eee. Why are this girl and boy, this man and woman holding their hands? Why? What for? I didn't understand. And they say, we, women, female legs are so beautiful. I didn't understand. What's so beautiful about women's legs? When I was a kid, I, I had no idea. What's so beautiful about women's legs? I had no idea because I was like five years old, seven years old. Why? <laughs> but did I know beautiful women and ugly women? Yeah. How can I tell? Their face and their general body shape. Mostly their face and their clothing. Yeah, I can see who is beautiful woman, who is ugly woman. Okay. Their face, their facial expression, hairstyle, jewelry, their uh, clothing, style, their body shape. Yeah, I can tell. Okay. And I was asexual because I was only seven years old, child. But I can tell who is beautiful woman and who is ugly woman. Based on the energy, time, money spent on their makeup hairstyle, jewelry, clothing, their body shape, yeah, okay, but that aesthetic perception is asexual, asexual aesthetics, okay, it's about how much time you spend or money you spend on to make yourself as a human sculpture, living art, okay, Tattoos, piercings, yeah, you're destroying it. Yeah, you put money and time on it, right? But you're making it worse. Okay, so why why some of you are doing it? Because you're possessed by the devil. Okay. That's what I've been trying to tell you, okay? You're possessed by the devil, Satan, okay? You're making yourself ugly. Tattoos, piercings, marijuana, LGBT, all that garbage. Plastic surgery too. Obesity as well, okay? We're gonna take a break and we'll do this leverage stuff, okay? It's Sunday, okay? Sunday morning. What time is it? 10 o'clock in the morning is a Sunday? Something like that. We're just taking it easy, okay? We'll be back, alright? Okay.
Okay. Okay, we are back. So yeah, financial leverage works like this, okay? Maximum leverage is when I don't put any money at all. It does not cost me any money. It's on paper, contract. Hey, B, give me money. I will pay you back with handsome interest, okay? Because I'm smart. I'm gonna invest your money and give you the back, give you back the principal and plus interest. Okay. So A borrows ten dollars, okay? Or ten million, whatever, okay. A invest on this brand new venture cap venture capital, whatever, high tech company in Santa Clarita or San Jose or yeah, Silicon Valley, okay? And it turns out this is a good company, actually, that makes some good products, iPhone or whatever, okay? So yeah, it pays back the dividend, or this is a, if A purchases some stock, it also purchases back and put it in a treasury stock, whatever, okay? Or it was a bond, okay? Yeah, it give pay back the principal with handsome interest. So, okay, I'm gonna charge you one dollar there with my interest, okay? But that's B, A, B contract. Interest, yeah, 10%, okay? But the A, C contract, okay, hey, C, I'm gonna lend you, I'm gonna purchase your bond okay ten dollars principal and twenty percent interest okay and this guy see charlie do bad do very well so there's adam bob and charlie okay okay yeah here's your money back because our company is doing very very well twelve dollar back okay ten dollar principal and two dollars interest so higher interest, okay? This is a differential, okay? And okay, hey, here's your eleven dollar, your principal ten dollars and one dollar interest. But I'm gonna keep the one dollar here. So this guy just being by the just being the middleman, mediator, guy in the middle, the bridge between this company and big money lender. I'm just bridging the gap. Hey, man, I, I gotta pay my mortgage. I got kids and wife and kids and I gotta eat. So you gotta give me something, right? <laughs> yeah, one dollar. Is it fair? Yes. Why? Because he's, he's like a lubricant in this engine, economic engine or pipe rich middleman money man okay yeah, yeah maximum leverage he created his one dollar without putting a penny of his own money okay but he he worked i mean he he made some phone calls went to these meetings and tried to persuade people hey invest in this company you know he kind of venture capital kind of concept venture venture capitalist fund manager hedge fund whatever you have insurance fund savings account retirement fund pension fund yeah big money part of money pool of money okay yeah starving venture um the brand new companies high tech whatever low tech high tech mid mid tech whatever okay yeah producers yeah the, the just you know venture capitalists okay whatever mediator okay in the middle 
Okay, so that's that. All right, so we did enough for this year. Okay, so I'm just educating you, also I'm demonstrating to you that I know how money market works. Okay, because I learned, I studied it. All right, so because I'm running for president. Okay, so uh, yeah, and also I learned this because it's interesting. Okay. What do we do now? Uh, well, it's my heater on. I gotta turn on the heater, that's for sure. We have one hour left. Yeah, I eat cheap Japanese ramen noodle like Nissin or Maruchan, but some of them I'm aller allergic to, okay? Because they're cheap, so they, so they use cheap, cheap uh, materials. Some of them I'm allergic to, okay? So, whatever. So I bought, I was running out of ramen noodles, so typically I eat Maruchan, okay? They, they make good noodles and I'm not allergic to it, but Nissin, not sure. I just went to this neighborhood uh, grocery and I'm not sure they only have Nissin and I'm not sure if I'm allergic to it. Okay. Oh boy. Just a joke. Okay. Nothing serious. I mean, 70 years later, after Japanese people colonized Korea and did some human experimentation, 70 years later, I'm voluntarily <laughs> experimenting with my own body, Korean body, Korean American body, okay? Is this ra Japanese ramen noodle good for me or is it gonna cause some allergic reaction? On a voluntary basis. <laughs> I'm doing the human experimentation. Because 70 years ago, it, during the World War II, Japanese people, they did some human ex experimentation with Korean people. It's called Maruta. Okay. Horrible stuff, horrible stuff. Uh, human sacrifice kind of uh, bad stuff. So what do we talk about now, man? Ah. <sighs> Hydrodynamics, how about that? Hydrology. Fluid dynamics. dynamics. Fluid mechanics. Let's do that. Because uh, we just studied plumbing and then we realized it's a very useful concept. Okay, we, we continue on that, okay? Oh. Where's fluid dynamics? Yeah. Fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics. Fluid mechanics. Bernoulli's equation, okay. Yeah, that rings a bell. 468. Ah, boy. Fluid mechanics, chapter 14. We'll do this later, okay? Because something, when I was flipping through these pages, uh, something caught my attention, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> um, 
Yes, this slope, slant. Okay. It works same thing, just like leverage. Okay, leverage, pulley, double pulley, leverage, same thing. All right. It's a ramp, ramp. Okay, because you don't have much muscle. I don't have many muscle. Okay, I, I have just little muscle. That's it. Okay, I'm a small, weak guy. Okay, but there's something very heavy, you know. How can I? I cannot lift this up vertically. It's too much, too heavy. But if it I have a ramp, yeah, then I can roll it, I can wing it, you know. It will take longer time, longer distance from here to here as opposed to from here to here vertically. Same height, right? One foot, but I cannot lift it straight up because it's too heavy. What do I do? Yeah. Ramp. How how does it work? It's this, okay? Uh, if you are lifting it up straight, it's like F equal M G. Okay? But if you are using a ramp, it's um Angle theta, okay. It's a little bit tricky actually, okay, to analyze this to two different forces. Uh, I gotta look up the te this physics textbook. I hope they have entry in the index about ramp okay <laughs> I hope they do it's a very fundamental concept in physics ramp <sighs> like highway ramp you know It does not have ramp. My goodness, what kind of stupid text, basic textbook is this? Dude? You don't have ramp. Oh. oh my goodness. You don't have ramp. What kind of stupid text, physics textbook is this, man? I, I need secondary physics textbook. Oh, boy. You don't have ramp? Oh. How about slope? You don't have slope entering the index. My goodness. Oh. I don't believe this. What kind of physics book don't have this? Oh. Give me one second, okay? I'm just talking to my friends. You know, we want to take a break, okay, because um, I'm kind of pissed. It doesn't have pulley, this textbook, it doesn't have pulley, it doesn't have ramp. What the fuck does it have? Come on. Let me cool down a little bit, okay? 
we're gonna take a break and we'll be back because it oh man I, I don't know how to analyze this vector so you have this uh, you are pulling this M okay along the parallel to this ramp and we have have to analyze it in two ways and I don't know well this is a normal vector that is kind of a vertical to this slope right and there's a gravitational vector too right and Because I forgot, all right? I forgot how to derive this, all right? Well, we we'll have to figure it out because maybe it's somewhere in this book, physics book, but it doesn't have index for ramp or slant, slope. So we we'll have to derive it ourselves. This textbook has thousands of pages, so I don't know where it is. So it'd be faster if we just derive it ourselves, okay? so. We're gonna take a break, okay? We'll do it one way or the other, we'll get there, okay?
We are back. Ah, man. I don't know how to do this. Okay, I don't remember. I used to know, but it's like 30 years ago, dude. Ah, uh, three decades ago. Oh my goodness. I think, um, where's, where's my glasses? Let me put my glasses back on. Uh. Probably something I learned in junior high school, okay? In Seoul, South Korea. Um, I think this angle right here is theta. Probably it's theta, this angle, okay? Because when, if you decrease the theta to zero, it's like horizontal line, there's no ramp, it's just flat ground, right? Then this theta, we call it theta prime, okay? Theta prime also becomes zero, okay? You're decreasing it. You're rotating the entire coordinate, it's right angle, okay? So tangential, this parallel to this ramp, and this is a normal vector, okay? Normal, meaning vertical to this surface all right so yeah this has to be theta okay so it's not theta prime is theta is equal to theta okay so All right, so you have equal vector on the opposite direction. That's the, this ball wanting to roll down instead of uphill, okay? So this guy and pulling force upward and the rolling down force, yeah, they're equal, okay? And this vertical vector to the ground, that's mg. Right? This is gravitation, right? And this uh, this small angle is theta, okay? This one, we call it phi. Okay? So this gravitational weight of this big M ball is vector summation of mg cosine theta plus mg cosine phi okay is it too small for you sorry this force what is mg the gravitational pull to the center of earth okay magma Okay, so this vertical to the ground level. Okay, we are analyzing into two two diff, two forces, this guy and this guy. Okay, it's normal vector. I I forgot to I forgot the name of this normal vector. Okay, <laughs> I 
books I learned it in Korean. Where how do you express it in American English? I don't know. Okay. It's not in the even in the index of this physics textbook in the okay, so we are just analyzing the vector, okay? Ah boy. And cosine phi is sine theta, alright? So we got it, okay? C is equal to m g, where mass is the scalar, cosine theta plus m g sine theta. Because uh, phi cosine phi is equal to cosine ninety degree minus theta is equal to sine theta, okay? Yeah. If you don't get it, yeah, just learn trigonometry. Just look it up in the Google, Bing, Wikipedia, whatever, YouTube, okay? So that's that. Alright? Yeah, it's actually this arrow should be shorter. Okay, it's like this, this much, because this is sine theta, okay, right here, alright, F sine theta, because this is a right angle right here, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm sorry the picture is so small, but, so yeah, this mg sine theta, this the force that's going down the hill, and, um, um, You have some gain here, okay? So, the force that's going, rolling down the hill, the force that's pulling down the hill of this ball is mg sine theta, okay? So, when theta is, for example, very close to zero, okay? Like, like 10 degrees then the force of pulling it is very very close to zero okay so even if you are very weak if this slow this slant is very slow very long and slow hill yeah you can climb up it will take long time that's theta okay it's very close to zero 10 degrees instead of 90 degrees you know yeah, i'm weak but i have a lot of time i'm poor guy but i don't have any money but i have a lot of time so i'm compensating for lack of money with plenty of time i'm substituting time for money that's the equivalence between space and mass time and energy yeah i don't have much money i don't have strength i don't have too much muscle but I have a lot of time. I have a lot of space. It's a long journey because this theta angle is so small. The ramp is very slow ramp, but it's a long ramp, long distance. And it will take long time for me to roll this big ball because I don't have much muscle. I cannot lift it up. I don't have much money. I cannot hire somebody, some machinery. I cannot rent a machinery to lift this big ball up, straight up. No, I got no energy, I got no muscle, I got no money. But what I have is plenty of time and plenty of distance. This long lever, long ramp. That's something I got. That's something I can afford because I have plenty of time. I'm a poor guy. 
No. Equivalence of space and time. They are same thing, right? Space and time. Energy mass. They are same thing, right? Now we are connecting the two. They equivalent. I'm not sure if you realize this, but this is a historic moment in history of physics. We are not doing some fancy calculus, fancy tensor, tensor analysis. We are not doing any of that. We are just using ramp, CISO level, childish stuff. Okay, or you know something that we use every day on a daily basis. Something that carpenters, plumbers use routine basis. Construction workers or children, CISO, swing. Okay, but we unlock the secretary, sec, not secretary. Unlock the, we just unlock the secret of the universe. If energy mass, that's equivalent. Time and space, that's equivalent. Now we found the uh, equivalence between these two. Okay, it's like material, energy mass, material, right? Material, time and space, yeah, dimension, okay? And they are equivalent, okay? And in human analogy, we just call it copium, okay? All this, something of value, something of quantity, we just call it copium, okay? Okay? Yeah, here we have sine theta, right? Theta is between 0 and 90, okay? I mean, unless you are a rock climber. <laughs> I did some rock climbing, okay? Because I'm interested in everything. In a, in a gym, you have this simulated fake rock climbing, you know? Yeah, then you go like more than 90 degree. It's like more than vertical, okay? You're climbing this rock climbing okay it's like this and you're climbing like this like a spider yeah but if you're using a ramp it's not like that it's between 90 and zero right so that you can <laughs> so you can climb up like this okay ramp okay Woo! <laughs> yeah so between theta being between zero and 90 degree yeah, sine theta is between 0 and 1, all right? So, mg times sine theta because becomes something less than mg. So yeah, there's this gain of force. But, you compensate it such that, uh, okay, let's do this. Let's calculate work. We are running out of space, so we may have to switch the board or... Ah, motherfucker! I'm sorry. Sorry for the f bomb and vulgarity. Okay, but I have my days. Okay, come on, give me a break, will ya? Come on. All right, we have some space here, so we're gonna use it. Okay, so uh, let's say this vertical distance is h height what is this hypotenuse okay we call it distance d okay okay then um sine theta is equal to uh h over d okay So yeah, h is equal to uh, d sine sine theta. Okay. All right. So we have force. Work is conservation conservation of energy principle. Okay. So if you lift it straight up, it will be like. Work is F times S, right? So F is mg, right? 
times h. Now, is it equal to this uh, ramp work, mg sin theta? multiplied by this the this ramp force okay uh what is d sine theta goes downstairs d and h okay d law and handle d and h <laughs> yeah so sine theta sine theta they cancel out so mgh yeah it is equal Okay, so you can get rid of this question mark. All right? So that's D, okay? Yeah, distance. Ramp distance. Yeah, so, yeah, the same amount of work, but different force and different distance, okay? If you lift it up straight, yeah, shorter distance, height, but bigger force. But if you use the ramp, yeah, smaller force like me you know scrawny asian weak wimp <laughs> nerd geek oh you cannot even lift up this weight you have to use a ramp hey i'm just working smarter not harder give me some credit for my smartness okay so i'm using the ramp all right so Smaller force, but longer distance and longer time. Okay, you got it. Okay, so uh, take a break. Okay, we have thirty minutes left, and I'm getting hungry. We take a break. Okay, why don't you chew on this? Yeah. Get inspired, okay? Come up with a brand new theory, whatever, okay? All right. Here. All right? Show on this. Think about it. Study this. That's your assignment, all right? We're going to take a break, okay? All right. Oh, boy.
I just checked my Amazon order summary and it's coming. Calculus book is coming. Okay, so it's coming the Eastern Coast, man. From Pennsylvania, from New York. See, so yeah, it's taking long. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. So, what else do we talk about? Okay. Uh, we don't need this whiteboard. Ugh. Ugh. I need some room. <sighs> yeah, this time space equivalence between time space and energy mass. You don't need some fancy tensor calculus for that. You just need ramp. Okay, that's all we need. Okay, but that's all, all we know. I mean, we are basic, we are elementary. But Schopenhauer said, um, yeah, a small library, which is very well organized, is better than big library that, that is disorganized. Okay, I'm not a PhD. I dropped out of PhD program, but we are discovering more and better, bigger and better stuff with the little knowledge, short knowledge that we have because it's very well organized, okay? <laughs> okay. Instead of all these PhDs with all these fancy mathematics, statistics, uh, we don't need that shit, okay? We should go back to the basics, okay? Moral of the story right here, okay? You may not like my hairstyle because it's kind of ghetto and perhaps ghetto avant-garde, but you need to listen to me, all right? I'm not sure if God said that. God said that to about Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, yeah, he, this is my beloved son. Hear him. But did God ever say that about me? I don't think so. I didn't hear it, hear him saying that. Okay, if God does not say it, I will play this character of God and I will say it on my behalf. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm cutting the corners here. I'm gonna play the character of God. People, don't listen to him. He's a, he's a piece of shit, you know, don't listen to him. No, I didn't send him. He's not my prophet. No, he's just stupid Alaskan aging Asian American ass. Don't listen to him ever. Disregard him, dismiss him, ignore him. Don't listen to him. He's a piece of shit. Thank you. <laughs> God, thank you. Because I appreciate your sense of humor, Mr. Divine, Mr. Holy Trinity, Mr. Almighty, Mr. Creator. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your sense of humor. Thank you. Thank you and fuck you. Such an asshole. Why do you have to be such a so mean to me. <laughs> what did I do to harm you? Why do you have to be so mean to me? Hmm? Everything I did, I did for you. Okay, come on. I'm gonna turn on the hero, okay? <sighs> it's so cold.
Well, heater is on, so I'm gonna put on extra layer. It's so damn cold, man. Oh boy. I don't wanna catch a cold. I cannot afford to be sick. I'm too busy. I got a lot of work to do. I cannot function if I have a cold as well. Ah, oh boy. I'm gonna put on some layers. Ugh. Ah. Now I'm all good. Oh, boy. Well, we got 20 minutes left, okay? So, we're gonna have to get back to plumbing, okay? Uh, hydro... Hydrology fluid mechanics. We have to get to that. Where's my scarf? I just popped in some uh, Dayquil, I mean generic version from Walmart, like Equate Daytime, you know, because I was kind of feeling like catching a cold, so it's a preventative maintenance, okay? If I'm feeling like catching a cold, yeah, I just pop in like one or two pills of that, and I never catch a cold that way. Ah, boy. It's a trick I learned from my friends. Preventative maintenance. Fluid mechanics, okay. So you have Bernoulli's equation, whatever. Pascal's equation. Your density. Pressure. <gasps> oh, well. Before we get into it, we get there eventually, okay? We'll do some uh, pure mathematics, okay? We, we're gonna integrate uh, or take derivative, we're gonna derive uh, between the uh, sigmoid function and Gaussian function, okay? We'll take a shot at it. But that's something I thought about when I was lying in bed late in this Sunday morning, okay? Let's take a shot at it, okay? So, you have bell curve and sigmoid function, okay? So, sigmoid function is like this S curve, right? Okay? So, it's like uh, y is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the minus x, okay? When x is infinity, it's 1, okay? When x is zero, you have one here, 0.5 here, x is zero, x, y, okay? x is zero, e to the zero is one, so 0.5. When x go to negative infinity, e to the infinity, the 1 over infinity, 0. x is infinity, um, e to the minus x is 0, so yeah, it's 1, okay? So that's sigmoid of function. Now, let's differentiate this. Then we're, we're supposed to come up with some kind of a, like bell curve, Gaussian curve, something like this, okay? Let's see if it's true. Let's... Uh, Take derivative of this, okay? Y prime is equal to boy. We have to use chain rule, all right? So F G X is equal to one over G X, okay? Chain rule. What is f prime is equal to minus gx 
squared and then divide by you know under then uh, g prime x okay so the chain rule okay so okay minus one over one plus e to the minus x multiplied by you differentiate this so that's that which is equal to yeah minus minus plus okay so e to the minus x okay and so y prime is equal to oh my goodness ah ah we need more room okay so Whew. 15 more minutes to go oh, let's take time okay because i'm having a headache now hmm. Slow down a little bit. So y prime is equal to uh, e to the minus x. It's from right here, okay? Over one plus e to the minus x, okay? You multiply e to the x, which is equal to e to the x. I mean, multiply e to the x, okay? Plus 1. e to the minus x times e to the x is 1, okay? It goes downstairs, then here you have 1, okay? What is this? Is this a bell curve? Okay, what happens when x go to the negative infinity? When x go to negative infinity is one, okay. So, what what happens if f f if x is zero? If x is zero, point five. X go to the negative infinity. When x is 0, yeah, it's 0.5, right? When x goes to negative infinity, uh, it becomes 1, okay? So I guess it goes something like this. And when x goes to the positive infinity, It become like zero huh so that's not quite Gaussian function okay did we make some kind of mistake here oh boy you differentiate this oh sorry sorry it has to be squared here I'm sorry I made a mistake yeah, yeah, I made a mistake, okay? Okay, so. <laughs> Good. Because sigmoid function, def we de derive that and become another kind of mirror image of the sigmoid function. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we have to have square here, okay? All right. So e to the x, 1 plus 2 e to the minus x plus e to the minus x squared, which is plus e to the minus 2x okay are you confused well then 
do some look up okay algebra okay just power operation okay you squared you just multiply this two okay ah boy we have 10 minutes left You multiply by this upstairs, downstairs by uh, e to the minus x, okay? Ah, boy. Uh, e, to the, e to the x. Multiply by e to the x, okay? Then you have uh, e to the x plus. 2 plus e to the minus x. Very beautiful function, isn't it? Okay. Now, let's see what happens when we take the limit when x go to the negative infinity or 0 or positive infinity. Okay. Beautiful function. Look at this. It's a very beautiful function. Okay. We got to use different color here. Let's use green, okay? What happens when x is 0? x 0, yeah, 1, 1, 2, yeah, okay. 1 over 4, point 0.25, point 0.25, okay? Right here. What happens when x go to... Uh, negative infinity okay e to the negative infinity zero e to the positive infinity infinity 0 plus infinity plus 2, infinity. 1 over infinity, 0. Yeah. So it goes like this. What if x go to uh, positive infinity? e to the positive infinity, infinity, plus 2, infinity. e to the minus infinity, 0. So 0 plus infinity, infinity. 1 over infinity, 0. There we go. We got a Gaussian curve. Good. Just what like we what we expected. Okay. It kind of looks like Gaussian. Okay. Gaussian bell curve. Uh, it has this fucking complex formula, it, but it does use e, e. Okay. It doesn't have to be e. Okay. It's for convenience. It could be two to the x. We, ha we could have used 2 to the x, 3 to the x, two, 3 to the minus x, whatever, okay? E is convenient because you, if you differentiate e to the x, it's itself, e to the x, okay? So, yeah, it's just some exponential function, that's all it is, okay? We got it, all right? So, in t uh, deriv derivative of this guy, is this you have 0.5 fine we divide by half you have 0.25 this is half one half one quarter okay that's the uh derivative it's like a bell curve okay so sigmoid function bell curve yeah the the relationship between the two is uh integration and derivative derivation okay we got it all right we have eight minutes left we are making a lot of progress here man oh boy and fortunately my calculus book is arriving okay it's on its way it will be 10 days from now it's like Jesus to me. Calculus textbook.
Jesus, yeah. He's taking time. <laughs> Save my savior, whatever. Source of happiness. Calculus textbook. Okay, it's coming all the way from Eastern Coast. Okay, so it's gonna take time because I live in Alaska. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, if I'm still alive by then. Okay, but we are still having fun without it. Okay, we're having fun without calculus textbook, without Jesus. Yeah, we do. We make do. Okay, jack of all trade. That's what I am. All right. Yeah, we got it. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Zygmunt function. We take derivative of that, and it's uh, perfectly uh, symmetric. We have x minus x. That's why it's symmetric. Okay, symmetric along the y-axis. Okay, because if you put x minus x here and x here, it becomes the same equation. Okay, by the commutative law of addition, all right? Yeah, it's symmetric, and it's a bell curve that kind of looks like Gaussian. Yeah, normal distribution curve, okay? So yeah, our intuition was correct, okay? Two most important mathematical functions in social science. Normal distribution, okay, and learning curve, logistics function. They have a relationship. It's like elope, elopement, or some kind of secretive romance. You know. They have a relationship. Sigmoidal function and normal distribution curve, two curves finally meet each other. We knew about sigmoidal function and normal distribution, but are they having any affairs? Are they secret lovers? We just debunked it. We discovered, we uncovered, we revealed, exposed their dirty, dingy sexual affair. There are two lovers, okay? Integration and derivation, okay? That's, that was their relationship. They were in romantic relationship. Now it's exposed. Okay? So. Because Solomon said in the Bible, Old Testament, yeah, treat knowledge, wisdom, as if it's like your girlfriend. Yeah, love it. That's what we are doing here, okay? Making some jokes sexual jokes because mathematics can be very you know oh boring okay but we when we had two mountains we didn't say it's oh it looks like women's breasts because that's demeaning okay i mean come on in your classroom there are female students okay so don't be so disrespectful don't embarrass them don't harass them like that so we didn't go there when we had these two mountains, okay? When do we, did we have these two mountains? Um, yeah, the, the uh, some conjecture about the distribution of uh, left and right, okay? But we did not want to embarrass women. We, we are very respectful towards women. Why? She just said love each other, right? Yeah, respect each other. Love, respect, same thing, okay? And we want women to respect us men too, okay? It goes both ways. But if women make fun of men, that's fine. We are guys. we are men, we are guys, we are tolerant, we are the stronger, tougher gender, okay? So, you girls make fun of us, oh, it's okay, but we are not going to make fun of you, because women, you're kind of fragile, weak, gender, gentle, soft, 
you got a lot going on. You have long hair, you have breasts, okay? You make children, okay? Get pregnant, give birth to baby. You, you got your hands full, so yeah, we'll be nice and gentle, gentle to you, okay? But you wanna make fun of us, man? Yeah, go ahead, by all means. We are happy to entertain you, to make you happy. Okay, that's like cavalier, kind of gentlemanly attitude. By the way, okay, so, yeah, we have left and right, okay? We have halfway in the middle, you have independent, right? We have one minute left. You have independent, neutral, okay? Independent. Okay? And then you have left, and you have right. Liberal and conservative, okay? You have number of people, okay? The swing voters, they are not that very many, okay? So they are right, right here. But moderate liberals, yeah. There are a lot of moderate liberals and a lot of moderate conservatives, okay? But very few far left, extreme left, or far right, extreme right, okay? Swing voters, they are not that many either, okay? So it kind of looks like women's breasts, okay? It's, but it's, we don't want to demean women. We don't want to make fun of women, okay? But women, they are beautiful, okay? Breasts, beautiful, okay? Why? We all are fed by our mothers, okay? Yeah, mammals, okay? So do not make fun of women, okay? Yeah, be... Nice and gentle, all right? Okay, time is running out. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Have a nice day.